not we're going to show you so no none of you are sure where the lizard is well Senzo is going to show us exactly where our lizard is so it's using all of its camouflage now remember we were talking about camouflage with the tortoise and the butterfly and look there we go on the branch is a beautiful monitor lizard it's called a water monitor and it's sitting on the branch there trying to hide away from predators and to stay nice and camouflaged and hidden so that none of the predators can see it it knows that at this time of the day there's lots of birds that are flying around like eagles that are a threat to it there's also leopards around here that like to hunt them so that's why it's sitting in the tree trying to stay hidden also what it would have done is during the day today because it's a cold-blooded animal it cannot produce its own body heat so it's not like us that when we're cold we'll start to shiver you would think about when you've been in the snow or if you've been somewhere where it's very very cold then your body starts to shake they can't do that so they have to sit somewhere where there's a bit of sun that they can absorb the heat and get the heat into their body so that they can move around and so that lizard probably was sitting in the sun during the day and it's now camouflaging there before it will start to look for food now you might be wondering what this monitor lizard eats well it's in the perfect place for the food that it likes it's sitting above a little water hole and that water hole will be full of frogs and insects and maybe even some birds eggs that will be around near the water and so this monitor lizard will go after all of those and the other thing it likes to eat is what James mentioned James said that they like crocodiles well they like to eat little baby crocodiles so sometimes you'll find they'll go near a crocodile that has a nest with its eggs and they'll go dig up the crocodile eggs and eat the little crocodiles so they're quite naughty lizards uh, so Ethan you're wondering why it has such a long tail well this is for three reasons that it has a long tail one is when it's climbing up trees like that is that it's able to balance so as the body is moving that tail can move and just help to balance and also help to grip the tree a little bit so that it doesn't fall out of the tree the second thing is is for protection so I was saying to you that sometimes birds will try and come and eat it or leopards and so what this monitor lizard will do is will turn towards a leopard and it will flick that tail and it will almost use the tail like a whip and it's able to then keep that leopard away so that's the second reason and the third use for it is to be able to swim because this lizard spends most of its time in water that tail acts like a big long fin and it's able to help propel and push it through the water so it's like when you go swimming if you put on your flippers or your fins and you kick with them you go much faster and that's the exact same thing with the lizard is it's got this long tail that it's able to push water with and so it can swim very very fast to hunt the frogs and other things that are in the water can see look it's long feet long toes with long claws so those claws are to help it to get up into the tree and be able to climb and also to get lots and lots of water onto the feet and to push that water so that they can swim better so they really are well designed to swim very 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 clever indeed and the claws are just to help be able to move around and to grip the surface of the mud or trees to be able to move nicely now I think our lizard is having a very big siesta so it's taking a nice afternoon nap you can see look it's got its eyes just open now and that's because a bird flew over its head but there we go look at that and it's having a really nice sleep